Minecraft and virtual reality is amazing. It's incredible to see and it makes for some amazing moments, but what about throwing some horror mods into the mix because, you know, oh, we love making Minecraft unplayably scary in VR. Greetings gamers and welcome back to Minecraft Nightmare. I'm Connor Monroe and today we aim to scare you with the potentially horrific VR Minecraft mods. Let's do it. In its end, Ice and Fire. Ice and Fire is a Minecraft mod that adds additional fictional mythical beasts into Minecraft. Anything from dragons to wraiths, this mod has it. Sirens, pixies, death worms, cockatrices, trolls, more than typical YouTube comment section, sea serpents, cyclopses, overpowered dragons, gorgons, hydras, and even things like werewolves, vampires, and wendigos are planned. This mod will throw you for a loop and will terrify you when you actually like play normally, let alone adding virtual reality into the mix where it seems like you're really there and really in danger. And don't even get me started on if you play this in hardcore. But also, if you do install this mod, turn down the amount of dragons that spawn Okay, because like, like you gotta you gotta bump the number down of the mounds and caves, because holy crap! If you don't, they will be everywhere. They will be like in every other chunk. And like I said, they're OP. And at nine, SCP Lockdown. SCP Lockdown is a revamp and updated version of the SCP Craft mod. This mod adds a whole load of SCP creatures into the game, like the most well-known ones of Peanut, Plague Doctor and more. The mod currently includes 63 SCPs, and they plan to add more, so they request that you don't ask for any specific ones, since the different abilities of the creatures have different levels of difficulty to code, especially with Minecraft. This mod even gives you debuffs if you don't sleep for long periods of time, and I guess like the phantoms, because they were added like later, because currently the mod runs on 1.12 and does require Forge, like the rest of these mods do. However, it is it might be incompatible with Optifine, Optifine which I, I don't know how that's possible, but oh well. And I mean, like, yeah, you have to, it works with the VR, though. Reading about SCPs is already scary, like, when you think of the possibility of them being real. However, actually seeing and experiencing them in VR is a totally different story. And it ain't mutant creatures. Mutant creatures is already a terrifying mod, with mutant versions of monsters like the skeleton, creepers, zombies, endermen, along with some odd pig spider thing that I actually loathe. This thing gave, gave me nightmares. It made me stop playing Minecraft. But seeing them on your screen is fine. But when you're actually in the game and they're towering above you, like your actual height, it's absolutely horrific, okay? That's where I draw the line. That freaking spider has a freaking pig head and like a giant thorax with the long legs and it's already the worst thing that I've ever actually seen. But put that in virtual reality, I could hardly handle Skyrim VR spiders. Why the absolute would I do this? Spider pig aside, the mutant creatures mod will surely give you a shock in virtual reality, so honestly, play it at your own risk. As long as it's compatible with VR. And I mean, like, I know most gun mods aren't compatible with VR, so maybe some of these could be incompatible, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they're all good. Maybe we'll have to test that out at some point. I don't know, it just seems like it would be, it would be damn scary, okay, I'll tell you that. Just, just don't do it. And it's seven Mo Benz. Mo Benz is like one of the worst mods. Not in like it's it's terribly coded kind of way, but like it makes the spiders creepier. Okay, this thing adds new animations to the mobs and the player, making them feel more realistic and less blocky. Although the mm, things for the player don't really matter because you're in VR. This mod includes things like making zombies limp, adding better run animations for the player, and. <sighs> spider knees and jump animations making them some of the scariest things ever it doesn't change your game in any other way like other than just adding the bends to these characters and modifying the like the skeleton of the mobs but it's just it's gross okay if you want a vanilla experience but want to make your game make you want to brown your pants this one is for you you should have seen how i reacted when i fought a normal spider in minecraft vr that one time okay I would react to that the same way. I would react to this the same way, but 10 times worse because he has knees, but like also jump animations. The last one had knees, but this one had, this one has jump anime. I don't like that, okay? And if you add a mod that makes things even darker, no thank you. I know that this, this is the last, no I know that this, 
was based on spiders and kind of the last number two. But like still, can you blame me? No, you can't. And it's six Slender Mod. While Slender the Arrival supports the Oculus Rift, there won't really be anything scarier than hearing the sound of every light source around you breaking, and then hearing the ever familiar sound of static as Slenderman approaches you. This Minecraft mod, while not the scariest, is some of the best fun that you'll ever have in Minecraft VR. I mean, like, technically, it, it's the creepypasta craft that adds Slenderman, because Slenderman, the Slender mod is, is really old, but, but still. Hearing a load of glowstone breaking around you is always unsettling, but then you realize that they broke because Slenderman is nearby, and then your pants are brown. Nothing can save you from the cold, icy grip of death, okay? Sure, it's just a game. It can't hurt you, bull. He will escape the game, and then you will have to be- you'll live through the Slenderman movie, okay? And I think that that's probably the scariest thing of all. Do you really want to be a part of that mess? And by mess, I mean the movie, not the situation. <laughs> if you do want to try this mod, throw like a shader in there with some fog, and then, you know, you'll be- you'll really- you'll really be- you'll really have a time. You'll have a time! You'll be crying. Yeah, it'll happen. Halfway through into number five, Resident Evil. Resident Evil is already scary. And then it's even worse in VR. So, what do we do? We add it into a blocky world and then cause all sorts of panic when you have to run away from blocky blobs infected with the T-Virus. The Resident Evil mod adds plenty of the Resident Evil monsters into your game. It replaces the sound effects and will just all around make you wish that you hadn't done this to yourself. The mod runs on version 1.12.2 and it might be updated at this point, I don't know. But like, I don't get why every mod is for like 1.12.2 and not even 1.16. It's it we're at like 1.19. 1.19's coming out soon, and mods still aren't updated to 1.16. It's been so long. We've been stuck inside with nothing to do. Like, what are you doing other than updating your mods? It's it's been a while. Can we get these good mods to update, please? Like, I I, I want Netherite if I'm gonna be fighting off the living dead with some freaking like bodybuilder juice. Okay, I can't I can't say like the real. Bodybuilder juice cuz you know YouTube, but like You gotta love our all-powerful overlords, right? And it for stalker creeper Stalker creeper or it, it may be known as something else these days is a simple but horrifying mod that will jump scare you on a regular basis And we all know how I feel about jump scares Remember how like creepers would come up to you when they see you and then they just explode when they get close yeah, throw that out the window. Now, they will follow you for miles, not exploding until the perfect time. What's the perfect time, you ask? Oh, haha, <laughs> it's actually when you see them. Yeah, that's right, they'll stay glued to your ass like it's you with your girlfriend. You turn around, and they will practically be taking up the same block as you. Like, if they were any closer, they'd have to start paying you for child support. But then they explode, which only adds to the whole they'll have to pay you for child support reference and also it, it explodes instantly like you have no way to actually run away it's not like the typical charge of no 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 you turn around boom that that's what happens making you have to ensure that you have some form of measure that will let you protect yourself like a pressure plate with a light maybe that if it like if like when you walk into your house you're looking at a light and like if it, it lights up when you step on it then if it lights up again you know something's behind you and then you can like place water down or something like that um but like jesus christ i don't want this in vr can like can you imagine that just like turning around and seeing the giant creeper face in your face lust in its eyes and then it just then without warning it explodes on you that's nasty. Getting close to the end of number three, the Hero Brian mod. Hero Brian is one of the most famous creepypastas of all time, let alone with Minecraft. So when we heard that he was being added to the game via mods, it was unbelievable, but also highly expected. The mod is simple: summon Hero Brian, and then he'll start messing with your world and scaring you. But honestly, in VR, this would be dope. Not just cool because like you get to experience Hero Brian, but also it's scary in like the best way. This guy will spawn lava, zombies, himself, evil chickens, lightning, and more. He has traps, he will stalk you, he has many houses and structures that will get you killed. And he'll scream at you randomly because that's the kind of person he is. This mod was made back in 2012, but currently it's updated to 1.7.10, and I think that there might be some version that is actually 
uh, more recent as well with like 1.12 at the very least. But this mod won't even let you like actually like sleep in game without giving you nightmares on occasion. Um, that are like mini adventure maps that are actually really cool. But like if you're looking for like a good Minecraft VR horror experience or just like a good Minecraft VR experience in general that like you can maybe role play to, go with the Hero Brad mod. You can have some fun stories, like Shadow of Israel style. But ultimately, in the number two, Epic Siege. Epic Siege is a monster mod that doesn't add monsters per se, but it definitely buffs the current ones. Like, giving creepers the ability to self-detonate and blow up walls to get to you. Or, spiders being able to web you to the floor so you can't move. Or, the best ones, making zombies just as powerful as you. Yep, that's right. They can build, break blocks, and even place TNT. I mean, the, the TNT thing might be another mod, but like, they can break and place blocks, and they, they are relentless. They will come after you. They can nerd pull, they can do everything, okay? This mod makes the enemies work like a team, and they will be able to get to you no matter where you hide. So you better, you better start thinking of some defenses right now, because goddamn, they will be after your ass, and they will kill you. You will never be safe. Endermen can even teleport you instead of themselves. Yeah, screw having like three block high ceilings if Endermen will be that overpowered, okay? I'm keeping it at two. Zombies are also able to like dig blocks to get to you and like you can kind of blacklist which blocks that they can break so that like you can like make it so that they can only break glass, but still, that's not okay in my book. I, just, I don't like it. And finally, end at number one, Forever Nightmare. Forever Nightmare is a mod pack that I've played on another channel before. Uh, I've actually played it a, a fair amount. It's actually the mod pack that I was referencing before when I said I fought a spider in VR. Yeah, this mod pack makes the game permanently night, makes the darkness almost instant death, and makes you want to cry at every turn. Why? Because a YouTuber decided to make that happen. Yeah, that's right. This mod pack was developed by YouTuber The Chosen Architect and is available on the Twitch launcher, aka the Curse launcher. However, it is not VR compatible normally, so you need to kind of do like a little tricksy thing and like where you copy and paste the mods and bring them into your own personal like Minecraft thing and add them to a profile that has Vibecraft installed to get it to work. But then you get a day cycle, in which case you'll need to actually like use commands to make it night. Minecraft in this mod pack in VR is still one of the most horrifying things that I've experienced and I've played FNAF VR and the forest in VR. That's even worse, even if there's no monsters. But like, I, I, I'm also like just a little bit but still. Only do this if you really want to and you like you really want something scary. Uh, Cause it also has the Weeping Angels mod. And I think, I feel like that one was pretty obvious so I didn't put it on this list, but still. If you're only debating it, do something else first. And then feel free to combine all these mods in this list so you can create something truly terrifying. That's all the time we have for today, friends. Thank you all so much for watching. I have been in Shower Man, Connor Monroe, and I'll see you in another video.